hey what's up so let's now create the patch so usually you want maybe to change the body of the comment so but in our case when we click patch we won't display or an input or anything we will just hard code a new body here but before that we will send an HTTP request and update our state using the adapter the usual stuff but we will skip the UI things maybe that you can create what you will create if you are working with this so but before this remember the use callback so the idea behind it is to save the same reference for this function no matter what happened except if one of the dependencies inside the array have been changed then a new reference will be created why we are doing this because we are passing this function to to these children and if the parents have been re-rendered we don't want to re-render every children again because this have been changed in reference so that's why we are doing this to minimize the number of re-rendering it's unnecessary re-render so we are trying to minimize them uh, it's not that required to minimize unnecessary re-renders you might want to do it but it won't be that helpful it or it won't boost your application that much that much but it's a good to do it in my opinion uh, a lot of people discuss online if this is useful or not i would say in this case it is if you are passing a function to a children then yes as you can see a multiple children in our case but there is something that is very interesting and i think it's uh, it will boost your application performance is the memo high order function you will put it here so usually when a reference of the props have been changed that this component will be re-rendered of course the virtual dom will be rendered then a compare between the virtual dom and the real dom if there's a difference an actual re-render will happen to the dom but with memo wrapped wrapping this component what will happen instead of checking a reference for the props it will change their value so if their value changed it will do a re-render so what I'm doing here, I am saving, uh, or I'm telling this component, if the component, of, sorry, if the comment value have been changed, then re-render, not the reference for it. I think this makes much more sense in this context. So only when you have a new comment values, then re-render, because it will, I know for a fact, most of the time, this will be the same. So if your parent have been changed or have been re-rendered, re-rendered, re sorry, you don't need to re-render if you have the same values. We already have your UI correctly. Uh, yeah, I hope that was clear. Maybe in, in, it makes much more sense if you are only accepting the ID and the body. So what I am telling now the component, only if the ID or body or on delete values have been changed, now re-render. But in our case, they won't change because we are only because we are always sending the ID and the body and what else I think it's just the ID and the body we are always sending these so these won't change and the component won't re-render if the parent had been uh, oh if the parent re-renders again I mean this kind of stuff are confusing to me a little bit but uh, if you are start if you started to use memo a lot you will notice that it will really make your app faster a little bit but yeah it will just check the values if these value changed it will re-render if they not it won't re-render uh, it's, it's similar to pure components in class-based react components but yeah that's it that's it for this but now let's create a patch so another function it will be similar to this one so export const patch comment create a sync thunk this one is uh, comments then this a sync this will accept the ID of the component we are trying to patch and I'll make it accept an object ID and new data or new object and what I will do I will just await or you know I think the patch request will return the new object with the new properties that have been changed so const data equal to await to be the same URL and but with the method sorry fetch uh, method will be patch 
Now convert the response to JSON. And we will just return data. And of course we need to have a, a body, I think. Yeah, it's a body. We need to send JSON. So JSON.parse, sorry, dot stringify the new object. So what, what I am planning to send in the new object may be something like this. So body equal new text. So something like that. So we are changing maybe the body on each patch. So let's now create the extra reducers. So on pending set. So state dot loading equal true. Now on patch comment filled so state dot loading equal false and now we need to update a specific one so if you look at our adapter I think yeah they have update one update one you will give it of course the state then the ID I believe also yeah, it's an object ID and I think let me just uh, remember what this will accept. So it will get an update interface. Yeah, changes ID and a changes. So ID and this will be equal payload. So payload.id and ch changes be equal to payload changes and this payload will be the return value here so we need to return it in a good way so our return id and the changes will be equal to new object like now we don't need this and we don't need this one just await the request if everything is fine the payload will be the same id the changes will be this the new object um, yeah I think that's it so let's go now to our comments and create something like this so on patch this will be patch comment so we'll use it pass the ID and the new object like this but of course you can you can only pass one argument to thanks so this will be an object like this and this is a, a shorter syntax for this so you can simplify it by removing these and it will be the same and pass on patch to the comment and let's go here and extract that and we need actually to fix the props so id will be number and it's required body will be string and it's required and we will have the on patch yeah uh, does it, the order doesn't matter but on patch we will call it here so on a click on patch and this will be and or sorry this will pass the ID and the new thing we want we want to patch our new text let's go and test that here As you can see, it works. Let's go to our network. So we are patching number three. As you can see, it's a patch request, and this is the new body. We are, this is the object we are sending, and the response, it will always return the same thing, but this is how the JSON placeholder API works. But in a real world scenario, this will be new text. Okay, now in our Redux, when the patch comment fulfilled, we dispatch an action. This is the payload, so ID and it changes. This is the object, or this is this object here. And we just called uh, the update one reducer from the adapter. But let me show you how we can use just reducer, not the normal reducers, not the extra reducers to do that. So update one comment be equal to comments add adapter.update1 
and let's export that under here and let's import it uh, let's just do it oh you know I will just import it here inside the comments update as you can see update one comment and I will create const update on sorry on update to be equal to use callback to dispatch ID and a new sorry changes to be equal so ID new object and we don't need any dependencies so as you can see here if you are exporting your reducer or you are, if you are exporting the reducers from the adapters as a normal reducers like this uh, you can just call them with the dispatch and just pass the new payload or the payload without passing the state as we do here so that's something to remember I hope it's clear but uh, so let's now pass the on update and I will comment this sorry I will, yeah, I will comment it and just call this one for now so we'll have to so this won't send an HTTP request it will just update this uh, here so so I think I need to refresh as you can see not no HTTP request have been fired for patching no HTTP request just a Redux action to update the specific component uh, comment I think this covers the basics or how we can link these two together and uh, maybe I will create something or oh, no not maybe I will uh, show you how we can combine multiple entity adapters into the same slice or yeah and maybe after that I will do some things that I missed so I think but that will should give you a good start there's another like the upset and upset one maybe I'll show you how how these works or what they are and that's it bye